In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the visualize data skill to create interactive visualizations with your own data. There's two ways to access this skill. The first is from a new session where you can click visualize data to bring up the skill. And the second is by clicking the plus icon here and selecting visualize data. There's an upload box here, which allows you to upload your data, which generally will come from a CSV or a spreadsheet. And you can also add PDFs and images and it's able to extract data from those as well, which is a pretty helpful feature. I've got a CSV that I found earlier, which has all the enrollment data of public schools here in New South Wales in Australia, where I'm based. And I want to be able to compare that enrollment data based on the trends of enrollment over time for each skill. So I also prepared a prompt. It's pretty simple. It just explains exactly what I would like to visualize. It says, create a way for me to visualize this data and easily compare schools based on enrollment trends over time. It should allow me to search and select schools and they appear on the chart to compare. So let's see what it comes up with. All right, so we have our school enrollment trends comparison. Let's see if it works. So it's got the available schools down here. It seems to have selected those at random. And then on the right, uh, it's going to show us our selected schools here. So let's click through, make sure they appear on the graph. Wow, this is pretty cool. So I can see the different trends based on each school and how many enrollments they had over time. Let's see if search works here. We'll add another school in here. Wow, look at the growth in that school. So this is a pretty helpful tool to compare enrollments. And so one thing we might wanna do before we presented this internally is just make a few changes to it to get it just right. So one of the things I would like to do is actually add the Department of Education logo to this. So it looks like an official way to go through these trends if it was say being used internally at this organization. So I'll say, can you add this logo to the page and also theme the design based on the brand colors? Okay, wow, now it's looking really good. It also looks on brand, which is great as well. So I can go and select the different schools. It's even put those colors on brand as well. And I'm gonna get a really nice chart here. So this is perfect. And now if I want to go and share this internally, I can go up here and say file share. And this will give me a unique link that I can share so other people can access this. All right, so I'm going to try one final thing, which is using the AI models that are built into the visualized system to summarize the data that we see on screen. So if we add some different schools, getting the AI to actually help us summarize that data and tell us where the trends might lie or what's going on. Okay, so let's see how we did here. We'll click on a few different skills and see if we can get it to analyze the data. Wow, okay, this is cool. The Berry Public School experienced a steady increase in enrollment from 2004, starting at 289, peaking at 339 in 2017 before declining. So it's really comparing them now. Now let's add another one and see if the analysis updates and it is. Okay, so we've got some information about Berry School. It says Gilliston Public School show consistent growth with enrollment increasing from 87 in 2004 to 341 in 2023. So you can see with the visualized data, not only can you work with it to build out this very branded custom data dashboard, but you can also get it to use AI itself to provide analysis of the data. And you could probably work with this over time to tune it, make it display in dot points and sort of cut this down a little bit to help you understand what's going on. So I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to the visualize data skill. I'll be doing more videos like this to show you different ways of visualizing data. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on notifications so you're notified of the next video.